Hey everyone, David C. Anderson here coming at you from the Knife Center. And today we're going to be taking a look at some new for 2019 Zero Tolerance knives. The 22 and the 393 GLCF. Let's check them out. So for those of you that followed our SHOT Show coverage, you know that ZT's got some really cool new stuff coming out this year, and the first ones of these are just starting to show up here at the Knife Center. These blades are following ZT's classic recipe for success. Well thought out and highly functional designs, some really premium materials, and built right here in the US of A. First up, we've got the Tim Galian Designed 22, which has gotten an outsized amount of buzz considering how small it actually is. This knife is aimed at those of you who are looking for a compact daily carry knife that conceals easily without losing the performance and reliability of a true zero tolerance. It comes in at just under 5 inches total length, and the blade length is just under 2 inches, making it easy to carry with you almost anywhere. But despite the small size, you can actually get a really firm hold on this knife. It's pretty impressive. You get a solid 2.5 finger hold, and those finger grooves really lock it into your hand. It actually feels really natural in an inverted grip like so as well. Whether you're doing some wood carving or even some paring knife stuff, it feels really good and orients very nicely. We also get some nice jimping here on the spine, which gives you a natural spot to place your thumb, and you can really get some muscle behind the blade when you're doing those bigger cuts. And ZT didn't skimp on the materials either. The 22 features a clip point blade made from CPM 20 CV blade steel, and even though it's a really short blade, because of the way they've executed the belly on this knife, it allows them to maximize the amount of edge they can get into that short length. It also features a nice stonewashed finish, which is great at hiding scuffs and scratches, meaning that despite that small size, it really is a hard working folder. Being a ZT, the frame of the knife is exactly what you would expect. The locking side is made from titanium with a steel lock bar insert in true ZT fashion, and the presentation scale is made of carbon fiber, meaning you get the best of both worlds in terms of that tight lockup and lightweight feel. The deployment of the knife is actuated via a flipper tab, and it rides on their KVT bearing system. That, combined with a very well-tuned detent, means that this knife has some lightning fast action. Perhaps the only thing I might have done a little bit differently on this knife would be to give it a deep carry pocket clip. It seems like something that would be really perfect on this small concealable frame. However, the clip is reversible for left or right side carry. Taken as a whole, we think this is a wonderful little knife, and as the adage goes, big things come in small packages, and the 22 proves it. So the other knife that's just in right now from ZT is the 393 GLCF. This is an update of a hinderer design that actually debuted last year, and it's another rock-solid titanium frame-locking flipper. But what's really special about this one is the upgraded inlays. By day, they look like ordinary carbon fiber, but by night, the true colors are revealed, and that color is green. It'll actually glow softly in the dark. Theoretically, this can help you locate your knife if you drop it at night or if the power goes out, but really what it's best at is being a conversation starter. That upgrade is not just a gimmick, though, because this knife still has all those great ZT hallmarks. We've got KVT bearings that make it a great flipper, and like the 22, we've got a couple of finger grooves, and on this knife, they really help lock in your grip as well. The blade is 20 CV again, but this time it sports their working finish, which is sort of a heavier, matte finished version of their stonewash. It also features Rick Hinderer's Spanto blade shape. It's a harpoon point design that can transition very well from EDC into tactical rolls. What's pretty cool about this knife, though, is that that special feature, the glowing carbon fiber scales, Usually we'd expect to see that on one of their sprint runs, but this is actually a regular production item, which is a really nice touch of appreciation for their customers. So we're really happy that these two knives from Zero Tolerance have come in and can't wait for the rest of their lineup to show up. And if you want to see them, keep tuning in, because we'll show them to you just as soon as they come in. To get your hands on one of these or any other ZT knife we carry, click the link in the description below to head over to KnifeCenter.com.